What is going on everybody? It's Woody YouTube here and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to break in a baseball glove. To, uh, the glove I am using is the Wilson A2000 DP15 which is Dustin Bedroya model. Um, if you want to see my unboxing of this, recommend go watching that. Uh, anyways, hope you guys like this video. Smash the like button, hit subscribe if you're interested and if you want to see more baseball content like this one and some tips here and there, my drills, and all that jazz. So, let's get right in the video. So the materials that you're gonna need is your glove, obviously, a pan of hot water, a glove mallet, I got this one at Dick's, and a scooper for the water. That's all you're gonna need. And if you're like under the age of 10, uh, I'd recommend having your parents help you or just use gloves because this stuff's really hot and it hurts when he gets on you. So, yeah, wear some gloves if you're underage. Once again, glove, oh, mallet, spoon, and hot water. Let's go. So, what you are going to be doing is using the spoon, picking up the water, dumping it, and just beating it with the mallet. So, I'm going to show you right here. So, scoop up hot water, be careful. I wouldn't fill up like the whole spoon. That just sucks. And try to get the laces nice and hot, and then just beat it. Try to break it in, just beat it. You don't really care about forming right now, you're just trying to break it in, then you can form it later. Right on the laces right there. Just keep beating it. Be careful for your fingers when you're beating because fingers like this and you smack it, it's going to hurt. Just keep doing this. Ooh, almost got on there right there. And just... And when you're grabbing it, just grab the laces, try to move the laces, grabbing the wet, try to just break it in because you're just trying to break in the laces pretty much, make them like mobile. You know what I mean? So, just keep doing this with every single finger. Just, just pull the laces, grab the mallet, start whacking it again. Okay, and with the hot water, you also want to get the the web, the palm, and all that. So, I'm going to do it with the palm, just dump it in there, some hot water, and then you put the mallet, and this is where you form your pocket. So, and then you just get straight in to where a glove should land, right here. Closer view, right here. So, you just want to keep smacking it right there. And once you're done whacking it, put your hand inside it, just go like this, pour in that pocket, and then just slap like this. And then, do that, it's already getting more broken. And another helpful thing is if you have this mallet, like a ball, like bell shaped thing, on the top of your mallet, um, stick the ball right where you put your hand, right there. See it? Get closer stick the ball right there and then just grind it and use the little stick things to go into your fingers so oh, let's get closer finger stick right there put it in out and out so I use or I put my glove like a different way so I do two in the pink none in this finger and then one in one and this one's out so it's kind of weird so i have two in the pink none in this this little pocket one and then one out so if you can see two in here none in here one and one it's kind of weird but i like it uh i like it a lot actually it's way more comfortable than i used to it but this glove isn't really comfortable right now 
because it's used to like the five fingers just everywhere. But I don't know. Uh, just like just ought you know. So yeah, just put the ball side of your mallet in the wrist little area and just make sure it's there. And if it's really small and you have a big wrist, just keep a baseball in there. Like when you're sleeping, just keep a baseball in there, and then make sure you use a stick thing. And you're still grinding those fingers. There you go. Then, uh, for an infielder's glove or outfielder's glove or whatever glove, you after you can after you beat it and all that, just start forming a little bend if you want. Like I want to bend this out and this kind of stays still. Because my other glove. I had like both flared out, so I had this one flaring out this way, and this one flaring out that way. I don't know, I'm just gonna try it like this. I can form it the other way if I need to. But yeah, so just form like this. And give it a few wax. And just keep forming it. Yeah, it's looking looking better. I'm starting to be able to squeeze it a lot easier. So you wanna be conditioning your glove probably every day or every other day. And with the Wilsons, it should be like, I don't know, four days if you do it nonstop every day. Uh, like four days, it should be good and ready to play. Not ready to play, but like you can play catch with this, start fielding with it. Uh, game ready probably in like two weeks. So uh, I wouldn't recommend playing in a game if you just get a new glove. That's, that's a given though. Just use your old one. But yeah, this baby will probably be ready in like, I don't know. A week or so I'm really liking how this is forming and I'm starting to like it a lot because gotta be honest right away when I got this glove I wasn't like I wasn't like super happy because I had my uh, red and black a 2000 DP 15 with this but I had super skin and if you don't know what that is it's like a it makes the glove a lot lighter and make sure the weather or the leather doesn't really like wear and tear and all that jazz um but i'm gonna make a video on like super skin versus non-super skin because this is non-super skin and my other one is super skin and i want to see which is which so expect to see more videos of this glove in the future i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it smash that like button or the dislike button if you didn't like it um either one will help me help my channel um Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more baseball content. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting in a while. I just haven't had like that motivation, but I'm starting to get that motivation now. So, yeah, I'm going to make a lizard skin video in the future. Near future, actually. Because I'm going to be applying lizard skin to a bat. So, if you want to see that, comment down below. And comment some video ideas, because I need those, because I'm running out. I'm probably going to do what's in my baseball bag again for 2018 summer. And then I'm going to probably do it like during season and season's like seven months so yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like all that and catch you later worcester